for the Monoy boys and the Marion girls. The Monoy boys beat Marion 79-23 and the Marion girls beat Monoy area 74-33. Monoy area senior Tyler Cavanis had a busy night on the court and he even locked up our play of the night with this big, big block. I knew my guy was over there, I just knew. So I kicked and stopped and I saw him throw the pass and I just came over and I slid my body so I didn't get any body contact and I just got a piece of the ball and luckily it wasn't called the foul and I just got all ball. But Cavanis seemed even more active after the Golden Bears senior night victory over Marion that locked up the Schuylkill League Division III title for them. He posed for pictures, handed out hugs, and he even did a post-game interview for a friend. There's still a long road ahead of them, but after this game, the Golden Bears were able to take a pit stop and enjoy the moment with their family and friends. You know, post-game, you know, it's always exciting, you know, especially because it's the last game, you know, last time we're playing on our home court, it's a little emotional, and last time you're going to see some people uh, here, you know, our cheering section is usually a big thing for us. In all six seniors, Cavanis, Andy Kuzma, Dylan Maymod, Larry McNeil, Greg Merchlinski, and Calvin Talbot played their last home game. They have been playing together for a while and it shows on the court. The ball moves so fast that it's hard to keep up, but their moves off of the court have also impressed their coach. They've been great athletically, but uh, you look at them in the classroom, you pick up the paper. I mean, they're all in the honor roll, you know, they're all involved in every kind of activity. You know, I go to Mass on Sunday and they're the altar boys up there. You just don't hear a bad word about them. They're just uh, the kind of kids that everybody would love to have. Fans, family, and friends lingered on the court after the Bears' latest win. It almost seemed like an indoor community block party. Oh, sure, because it's a small town. It's Monty City, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lifer here, and, I, you know, I know everybody, and I know all, all these kids and their families. Most of, their, most of the parents of the players, you know, were people that I taught, you know, like uh, <laughs> after all those years. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's home. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a big thing. That close-knit community has six young neighbors they can be proud of. It was also senior night at Marion Catholic High School. The Phillies got the victory, and Marion gets our number seven play of the night for this classy act. The Phillies honored the Monoy area seniors before their game on Tuesday night. To the action now at number six, Gabby Green grabs the steal for Marion, and then she performs this sweet no-look pass to Abby Wilden, who scores. Vanessa Wycavage and her two first quarter three-pointers for the Phillies come in at number five. Our number four spot goes to everyone who played offense for the Monoy area boys last night. They moved so fast I just couldn't keep up and I couldn't pick just one play, so here you go. Number three goes to Marion's Lindsay Nemeth who caught fire in the first for Marion. She hit three big threes to help boost the Phillies. Nick Wesner gets our number two play for his left-handed put-in, and he would get a bonus shot at the line, and he would make that as well. And here's Golden Bear Tyler Cavanis at number one. If an actual bear who lives in the woods blocked a shot, this is what it would look like. What a powerful block. 